summertime is just about gone All that's left to think about is the fish and coming on Almost as big as you. <laughs> Good job. Good job, buddy. We're here with Austin and Gavin. I'm Austin. I'm Gavin. You caught your first what? Pompano. You caught your first Pompano. Congratulations. I'm very happy to hear it. Thanks for being on my fishing report, guys. Y'all have a great day and enjoy the rest of the week at Topsail, okay? Thanks. There he is. <laughs> that was cool, wasn't it? Yeah. One more day. Here on the Outer Banks, winds are currently from the northeast at 10 to 15 knots. Coast Guard has lifted yesterday. Small We're here at the store with Bryson. We just got in from West Virginia. I think he's excited to get on the beach, catch some fish. What are you going to do for your dad, Bryson? I'm going to catch sand fleas and catch fish. You're going to catch fish? Yes. What kind of fish do you hope to catch? Uh, sharks and everything. Nice. All right. Well, good luck to you, Bryson. You'll be on this week's report. We'll see you then. Thanks. Talk about fishing. You can't give the fish away. Everybody's lucky. October and the moon. Hi folks, Captain Chris Medlin here with the East Coast Sports Fishing Report for you for June 14th, 2013. <clears throat> the weather has been a little bit difficult this week. We've had quite a bit of a blow. However, that will get some stuff stirred up on the, on the surf side as well as on the sound side. It should get the fish to chewing pretty good. Um, looks like we're going to have a great weekend. You guys should be able to get out to the stream or, or just offshore a little bit. Lots of grouper on the bottom. The king mackerel have showed up in pretty good numbers around 20 mile mark. Um, also, there's been plenty of blue marlin caught, released, brought in for the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament this week. Congratulations to you guys. Y'all did a great job in that tournament. Also, I want to thank uh, Austin and Gavin for giving me that fishing report where they caught their pompano on the surf. Good job, guys. Thanks a lot, and I appreciate y'all being on my video. Um, now, guys. Tomorrow we are having our youth fishing tournament at the Soundside Park here in Surf City. First 200 kids to register get a free rod and reel. We're also giving out trophies and medals and gift certificates and toys and all kinds of stuff. It's a free event. It will cost you nothing. Come on down and do some fishing at the Soundside Park here in Surf City. We'll have a great time and uh, I'll, I'll throw the flyer up about that so you guys can check that out. We also want to thank all of our sponsors, which are pictured here. Thank you guys so much for helping donate, and that really helps us keep our fishing tournament going. Um, but first off, we're going to go to the surf here, and we've got Ed Linsky with a red drum. He's been trying for three years to catch a red drum out of the surf. He got a little bit of help from Derek King over the phone and managed to catch three in one day and had a great time doing it. Thanks for sending me that picture, Ed. I really appreciate it. Now, if we go to the south side, we've got Aaron Burris here with some, some beautiful sheep head that he caught. Here's one in a net. There's a net shot. Here's a cooler of some of the sheep's head that he caught. And here is Aaron with a really nice six pound sheep's head that he caught down around the south end, catching them on fiddler crabs, which we sell here in the store, guys. Um, next off, we have, of course, Alan Jernigan with a mess of gig flounder here. That's a beautiful catch. Uh, he's also been fishing a little bit around the south end of the island, not so much up in the river. But uh, here is a nice south end red drum that he caught. And here is a huge topwater red that Alan Jay caught uh, on one of his trips. Uh, I believe they had 16 topwater reds that day. That's an awesome day of fishing. Um, and of course, Alan releases the majority of the fish that he catches, so here's a good picture of that. Here's another trip with Alan Jay where they got 11 reds topwater that day. 
And here is a picture of a beautiful trout caught with Alan Jernigan on the Mrs. Trout Killer by Texas Tackle Factory Baits, which we sell here in the store. You guys might want to come and check those out. And next we got Brent Banks here with a beautiful red drum that they got on one of their trips. Another nice red drum with Brent Banks on one of their trips. And I'm sure this young man had a great time with this big red drum that he caught. Uh, also, we have uh, Dan and Luke Shaw, who are fishing with Captain Jody Lang from Castaway Guide Service with a nice red. And we got Jason Fowler, a local guy here, with a nice red drum he got on the sound side. And of course, we've always got Ricky Kellum here with a big old mama trout that was caught on one of his trips. Nice red drum. And we got Ricky again with a nice mess of trout. So thank you guys. Thanks for those pictures. I appreciate them. Next, we're going to go to Surf City Pier, and we have Augie with a nice red drum, a nice legal red drum that he caught off the pier. We've got Curtis White with a beautiful flounder. I think he was about four pounds. That was a nice fish. We have Miss Diane with a four-pound speckled trout caught on a bottom rig. That was a surprise to her, I'm sure, and a beautiful catch. Congratulations. We got little Morgan here with a nice spot that she caught. That's a great picture. Thank you for uh, that picture. And we have Shane here with a four pound black drum. That was a great catch. Next, we're going to go on to Sea View Pier, and we have Dennis with a nice Spanish mackerel that was caught on a gold hook rig. We've got Lewis with a nice black drum. Uh, and now we also have a mess of fish in a cooler, and we have Zach with a nice nine pound black drum. We're going to go to Jolly Roger Pier. I didn't have a whole lot of pictures from them this week, but here is the cleaning table covered with a mess of fish, of mullet, spots, all kinds of stuff. So as you can tell, there's been some fishing going on this week, and people have been doing pretty good, especially with the black drum. Here's one from Chris Hager with uh, a nice black drum. Thank you, guys. Appreciate those pictures. Now we're going to go offshore. Captain Roy Jarman. Um, here is his stepson, Curtis Sanders, with a nice black sea bass that they caught on one of their trips. Here is Roy with a nice uh, mahi. And I think I might have a picture of Lindsay here, uh, Roy's wife, with a, uh, with a nice mahi. Didn't get it just yet, but we'll see. Um, also, we have uh, Lauren Boyette with a, nut, with a nice catch of mahi and rainbow runners. So thank you for those pictures. We're going to go to Captain Mark Harrison now. Thank you for the video you sent me, Mark. I appreciate it. You're going to see it here at the at the end of the video. Um, we've got a, we've got one of his trips with a ton of mahi that they caught on a trip. We got an AJ and Kobe shot of a trip that they had. A great day on the water. Um, we also have uh, another nice mahi with Mark. And now we have Tanner Gray. Uh, you might have seen his son, a little Or Gray, with uh, with a, with his first pig fish that he ever caught. But here's there's Tanner with a nice cobia that they sidecasted to and caught. And uh, as always, we got Taylor Perdue with a beautiful shot of a mahi that's already still lit up. Nice fish, nice fish. We got Tommy Berry, of course, Captain Tommy Berry, with a nice uh, nice mess of AJs that they got that day. And here is a nice cobia in the box that Tommy managed to put in there just the other day. Thanks a lot for those pictures, guys. I appreciate it. Hey, guys, we got some sales going on this week. Of course, we got 25% off of Columbia. Um, I just got a new load of Texas Tackle Factory in the store here. You might want to come check those out. We've also got some new decals called uh, Stick 'em Ups, which are a chrome type deal, look kind of like the uh, fish logos on the back of cars. But uh, just come on in, check those out. Thank you so much. I also want to thank Terry uh, for uh, his fishing report from Surf City Pier. I want to thank Ricky Kellum for some of the video that I've used as well. I also want to thank Mark Harrison again for the video that you sent. Thanks a lot, guys. I think this, this uh, weekend is going to be great. Y'all come on down. Don't forget about our kids' fishing tournament. Get a kid hooked on fishing, and they'll, uh, they'll stay hooked for life. Helps my business. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Come on, see us here at East Coast Sports. We're here with Terry at Surf City Pier. He's going to tell you what's been going on for the past week. Well, it's the day before yesterday, before the storm hit, we did all right. We had about five keeper red drums in the slot, two just almost in the slot. Had one about four and a half pounds, that was out on the bottom ring. Then the storm came. 
we didn't do nothing yesterday. Today we only had one flounder that was nice, four pounds, four and a half ounces, and a bunch of sharks and little croakers and little mullets. All right, maybe when this blow gets out of here, the fish will get chewing good. Is that right? I hope so. I hope so, too. Thanks a lot, Terry. Everybody's lucky. October and the moon is coming, but the clouds won't give up the ghost. Oh, let the good weather hold one more day. Wake up, we're moving out. Four-wheel drive will take us where we're going, yeah. If it don't, we're missing out. You wanna be there before dawn. But when the sun is finally setting, and they're sand in everybody's shoes, yeah. Coolers full of fish, there ain't nobody fretting. No, it's hey, buddy, have you heard the news? King mackerel and the blues are running all along the coast. And talk about fishing, you can't give the fish away. Everybody's lucky October and the moon is coming But the clouds won't give up the ghost Oh, let the good away